Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make dolce de leche in a slow cooker. Now this is just basically a beautiful thick caramel. I think the difference between dolce de leche and caramel is that it's got milk in it and caramel is mainly just sugar and water. It's delicious, it's easy, you just leave it in a slow cooker overnight and in the morning you have yummy yummy caramelly dolce de leche-ness. I use Dolce de Leche uh, on its own because it's delicious. I have it on ice cream. You can use it for any way you'd use like a caramel or a, something like that, like a banoffee pie, caramel slice. The possibilities are endless. So what you need is the finest quality sweetened condensed milk, home brand. Honestly, it doesn't make a difference if you use home brand or a more expensive brand. The only thing that you have to be wary of is home brand. Sometimes it doesn't have the little pull ring, so you're going to need a can opener. I have one, so it's okay for me. If not, you can get one with the pull ring. The thing is, this is twice the price of the home brand. So I could literally make twice as much just for using a can opener. So I'm gonna do that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get our slow cooker and we're going to place a layer of baking paper on the bottom of the cooker. This is just to prevent the can from leaving any marks or rust stains. It might not happen, but it's just a good precautionary thing. Peel the label off of the sweetened condensed milk and throw that away. Then we're going to put the can into our slow cooker and then fill it with enough water so that it covers the can by about four or five centimeters. Put the slow cooker on low for about 11 or 12 hours. I do it overnight. It's very easy because you wake up to yumminess and then you just leave it and play the waiting game. Alternatively, if you don't have a slow cooker, you can put your can of sweetened condensed milk into a pot of water and just let it simmer on low for about three to four hours. It really depends on your stove, but I'd go for four. Same with the slow cooker, put a little bit of baking paper underneath as well to prevent any rust stains in your cookware. Is it ready yet? No. What about now? No. Approximately 10 hours later. After about 12, uh, I always do it for 12 hours, uh, we just take the aluminium can out and let it sit for about five, 10 minutes just on the countertop. And then we're going to put it into some cold water. This is just to allow it to cool completely. I can't stress this enough. Do not open the can as soon as it's out of here because it may burst, things might go flying. I don't know, I've never done it. Someone warned me and so I'd be too afraid to try. Um, but you want to make sure it's at least slightly cooled before you open it. Cannot stress this enough. Pick it up the right way. Pick it up like this. Do not have the tongs this way. It will not work and you will splatter yourself with hot water. Isn't that right, Flavia? Yes. We, <laughs> we learn from experience here in the Shut kitchen. Up. This is just one of the reasons why we put a bit of paper. As you can see, it's a little bit of a rust stain. It doesn't always happen, but in this case it did. So highly recommend putting this in just to be safe. Just give them a little bit of a stir. Now you can also put ice cubes in here if you want to make it happen faster. Now, of course, if you use one of the pull rings, open it like that, but I'm using a can opener. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Girl! <laughs> so when your dolce de leche is warm, it's a little bit runny like this. You store it in the fridge and it'll become a lot thicker. Um, and then you can just heat it up in the microwave to warm it up, kind of a lovely sauce. Not in the metal can, because you'll die. So this is the one that came out of the pot that cooked for about four hours. You get the same effect. I think the slow cooker one is just easier because I can forget about it, whereas the stove top one you kind of have to watch and I can just do that overnight. So they're basically exactly the same. All right, let's eat. Now, we're not going to eat these by ourselves because that that would be... That would be death, um, a delicious like death. Like a great, like if that's how I die, that's how I die. Yeah, all right. Cheers. Cheers. To be fair, Flavia and I usually eat 
sweetened condensed milk out of the can already. <laughs> so this is a very nice this improvement. Really it's it's yeah. different. It's, it's interesting. Beautiful. Oh. Actually how? I don't know how, but it was like a little drop, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Dolce de Luce. <laughs> You're not wrong. I have a point. It's delicious. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media, talk to our faces, we're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.